This is LEGO Tensegrity, a creation that is made up of regular pieces but appears to defy gravity. In today's video, I'm going over how Tensegrity works and seeing what I can float using it. Tensegrity, also known as tensional integrity or floating compression, is a structural principle where some of the components are being compressed, which are these two builds extending out, being connected together with the parts in tension which are the chains, and the centre chain is the main one holding it together, while the two outer chains are mainly for stability. The question is, what can I float using tensegrity? First off, I'm going to see how many minifigures I can put on top before it collapses. <laughs> So for the first attempt, I didn't really have a plan on how to get as many figures on as possible, so I was only able to fit four figures. This time I actually lined up all of the figures properly, but I should have placed Zane in the middle row. And for the last one, I removed all their accessories and helmets and lined them up close together. And I was able to fit seven figures, which is pretty good. So now that I've come to the conclusion that this build can only support seven minifigures, I thought, why don't I try to float some big builds? I mean, what could go wrong? So I just tried some SpongeBob sets and Star Wars sets and they just completely destroyed the build. So for the last one, it's going to be Tensegrity versus the Ninjago Dragon. If you want to know how to build this model, the instructions are available right now on jzbricks.com. You'll get a video tutorial that I made and a list of all the parts you'll need. And the links are in the description. Thanks for watching and subscribe for some more videos.